Well guys, welcome back to another episode here of Slime and Slay Outdoors. We are back at the house and uh, we had a definitely uh, an interesting hunt here this morning. Not a lot of uh, good shots on camera. I did a lot of missing of course, but we did get one grouse here this morning. So um, after I'm done doing the intro here, I'll play that clip. But uh, what I wanted to do here is do a catch, clean and cook and show the easiest way to, to eat grouse or the easiest way to cook grouse but yet still taste delicious so we're gonna go ahead and clean up the one grouse here we got this morning and uh, um, Mr. T-Rex and I Rex here did pretty well out in the woods this morning actually yesterday as well um, I'm starting to get a little bit better on the filming part wearing a head cam I was wearing a, a chest cam here today so we're still gonna go ahead and roll that footage it turned out excellent and uh, we'll meet you in the kitchen after we get them cleaned up so stick with us stay tuned it is gonna be a great episode here where is he Where is he? Get yeah, Rex, Rex here. Here, Rex, here. Here, here. Uh, he's good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Here. Here, 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 sit, hold, you want to take my photo? Sure. Yeah, I got my phone. Okay, I got the GoPro on my head. That's fine. Oh boy. Well, that was really cool. Boy, that bird was hanging right on the edge. He didn't fly very high at all. And uh, we got him. <laughs> Good boy. Finally, got a couple up in here, but no, uh, no good uh, looks at them at all. But uh, we finally got one here. So, all right. All right, guys, we got that bird all cleaned up here. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little clip here of me getting that bird. Very exciting, very close shot. But uh, the breast didn't get shot up too bad. That's again all we're going to be doing. A little bit of a BB mark there. So I'll kind of show how to get it off the breast here, the best way that I do it. But um, nothing fancy. But uh, let's get it off the breast and uh, let's get the fry pan going here. All right, I'm just going to take a fillet knife here. And um, I usually like to start right up on this edge and literally follow it down. Not sure how to say how far to go in deep wise. Kind of trying to do this all, making sure that I can see it on camera and do it. But when you start slitting it, you can definitely feel the bone going on the edge there. And once you slit it down like that, you got like another, I call it the... Um, grouse tenderloin I call it on the inside part here so you basically are just peeling this chunk down off the meat here so we're gonna just quick do this and it kind of opens up like that and you kind of can almost just peel it and um, we'll try to get some of that meat but then we'll end up taking this so um, there's another you know this is your other chunk that's hugged in there so usually I have about four chunks of meat on one breast like this so I'm gonna hurry up and get this off All right, guys, that's normally what it looks like when you get it all off. There is just really nothing else there. And then this is the bone that runs on the other side right here. And uh, like I said, normally I get good two chunks, and we'll obviously rinse this up, kind of clean some of that um, the gunshot off of there. And then here's the tender line, I call it. But uh, I'm not sure what the name actually is for it. Maybe it is like that. But uh, we got two chunks like that, and then we'll end up getting another. This side looks really nice. This was a nice, actually, grouse, uh, this, a pretty nice breast, um, bigger size grouse this was. But uh, again, just run it right down on the edge and uh, just basically just peel it open and then you'll have that other line right there. So, all right, once we get that done, we'll get it all cleaned up. All right, guys, look at that. Again, we'll get it all rinsed up here, but oh my gosh. I love, this is my favorite type of meat that is out there. Um, you know, deer and all that other stuff's good, but I really love grouse, but this is the final end of the the um, maybe just a little bit there but breast is pretty much cleaned right up so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it all up and uh, get the fry pan going she's all cleaned up looking beautiful and these are literally the only ingredients I'm gonna be using here get a saucepan out probably fill it about a 
good quarter full of butter, flour, and seasoned salt. I'm literally going to take a bag here, fill the bag up with some flour, dump the grouse in there, put it in the butter once it's hot. Once we're done, we'll put a little seasoned salt on it here. So let's whip it up and get it going. Take my beautiful chunk of grouse meat here, put that in the old flower bath. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a heck of a lunch. Boom. Put the camera back down, seal the bag up, get a nice air in there, get your air pocket and just shake it. Ready? Boom. Nicely, lightly coated worth of flour. Many recipes out there to do grouse, but this to me is the easiest for anybody that is starting out trying to make grouse slash hunt grouse, whatever you want to do just to try it. And it, to me, it tastes still absolutely delicious. And um, maybe I'll even sprinkle a little bit on now. A little bit of season salt. Maybe we'll sprinkle some on when we're done. That'll be good. We'll kind of just rub that around. And we'll maybe coat it when we're done. But uh, wait for the butter to all melt here, get it nice and hot, and we will be frying our lovely grouse. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Oh, yeah. It's that time. Oh, yeah. Nice little sizzle. Grouse is going in. Man, I wish I definitely would have got more than this, but it is what it is. Definitely could be just a smidge hotter, but uh, that'll start cooking. Probably about three to four minutes per side, if that even, maybe two to three. And um, obviously I like to get the bird to be 165, but uh, these are definitely not very big chunks. Get a little nice golden brown and we'll be eating them. All right, let it cook. Well, hopefully the camera can show I went outside here to enjoy this on this beautiful fall afternoon here, but uh, beautiful grouse cooked up again. Super, super easy to be doing that flour, seasoned salt, and butter. Literally just roll it and, uh, and soak it into the butter. So go ahead and take a bite here, but I already have done this many times. Oh my gosh. Nothing like the fresh taste of grouse, so that's like the best thing. Is not that freezing it is bad or anything, but the fresh, I mean, this was literally killed, I mean, an hour and a half ago, if that. And uh, now it's here it is, eating my lunch right here, out here on this beautiful fall afternoon, eating some delicious grouse. Again, what a great time of the year to be getting out, walking some trails. If you have a dog, great. You know, walk some trails. You should be able to see them even on the trails if you don't have a dog. And uh, this is one of the best tasting meats I think out there right now is definitely grouse. Um, to me, it's just better than anything chicken. I don't know how to describe it. It's just got a soft texture. And um, I don't know if it's just because what they eat, the clover and buds and all that kind of stuff, just natural food. Um, I don't know what it is, but it definitely tastes delicious. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to absolutely devour this grouse here very shortly. And uh, plenty more grouse videos to be coming here. So if you guys like the grouse hunting videos, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Give it a like. 
and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode here of Slime and Slay Outdoors.